Ukraine wins. The Russian army was defeated by Ukraine and retreated 20 miles east of Kiev war between Russia and Ukraine on March 25. Vladimir Putin's invasion plans are in shambles and the Russian army is unable to defeat Ukraine, the war lasted too long and was pushed back after a series of counterattacks by Ukraine, resulting in the army's defeat. Recaptured important towns on the outskirts of Kiev. Ukrainian soldiers launched a series of attacks on the Russian invaders in the recent hours of today, March 25. The Ukrainian army recaptured defensive positions 35 kilometers, 21 miles, east of the capital. It is seen as a sign that Ukraine is turning the tide. Ukraine is winning many victories and driving its enemies further and further away from the capital. After this series of victories, they will continue to move towards Hostomel Airport, which was captured by Russian forces in the opening stages of the war, the Ukrainian National Defense Forces said. Ukrainian forces have defended Kiev from a Russian attack, believed to be from Belarus, Ukraine is fulfilling its obligation to defend its land. They are gradually repelling the Russian army. Despite the missile bombardment, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky remained in the capital, and enemy military and civilian warplanes were surrounded by Ukraine. The Ministry of Defense said that the Ukrainian army can attack backwards, when the Russian army is retreating to wait for resupply. Putin's invasion did not go as he originally planned, the Russian president is in a real stalemate with many failures both at home and in Ukraine. Reports of disorganization and misinformation within the Russian military have emerged that Russia's advance has been fragmented. The Russian army partly withdrew, partly opposed the government and did not want to go to the battlefield to face Ukraine. According to an estimate, the number of Russian losses was about 16,000 people, Russia was forced to urgently mobilize more old reserves and young recruits to join the war, in order to have enough numbers to face the war. With Ukraine